<laughs> uh, listen, will you please promise me you're going to kick this guy's ass and shut him up, please? Hey, I will do just that for you. <laughs> so, so you're going out, you're going to do it for me. All right. I watched your training video. Um, I know you're in super shape. You're going into this fight. You're nearly twice as old as, you're twice as, old as this guy. Um, is that an advantage for him? Younger, faster? Uh, although you look, you know, you looked like you were on your A game in the video. I, I mean, I don't do you know. feel? Yeah. I don't. I don't think he's faster than me. Right. How hard are you training? I, I train every day. Okay. How many hours a day hey, are you I training? Hey, I think it's serious. Listen. Well, listen, it's, it's the whole day. It's the process goes through the whole day. I get up in the morning, do the road work. Then I um, go to the gym at 1. Then I go to the strength and conditioning guy. Then it starts all over again. Yeah. So Jake Paul is saying he wants to be a world champion. He, he says you're the greatest heavyweight champion ever, the baddest man on the planet, and uh, the most dangerous boxer of all time. This, this will be the fight of a lifetime. You've had a chance to assess Jake Paul. What do you think of his boxing ability? I think it's, you know, he's came a long way from YouTube. And, and listen, I've seen a YouTube of him at 16 doing weird dances. That's not the guy I'm going to be fighting. This guy's going to come. He's going to try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to. And he's going to be greatly mistaken. Let's talk about, uh, there's been a lot of rumors out there about the fight that maybe, uh, you got to have 18 ounce gloves. You're going to be wearing headgear. Any no, truth in that? No, not true at all. Not true. Not true. No true. Listen, um, this is called an exhibition. But if you look up exhibition, you will not see any of the laws that we're fighting under. This is a fight. You're going in. This is a real fight, and you're going in to win this fight. Uh, what is bringing you back? What is luring you back in? Is it kind of like the last Rocky movie and, and you got stuff in the basement, you need to get it out? You know, Sh Sean, I have a weird personality. I don't think it's weird, though. Whatever I'm afraid to do, I do it. And that's how it is. I was afraid to, for the Roy fight. I was scared to fight again. I was 100 pounds overweight. I was however old, 54, 53. And I said, let's do it. Anything I'm afraid of, I, I, I confront it, and that's my personality. Like right now, I'm, fr I'm scared to death, but as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality, and in reality, I'm invincible. I think the people hearing that Mike Tyson is scared to death, um, it's kind of reminiscent of, of the last Rocky movie, right? He goes, I'm scared to death. Champ, aren't you afraid? I'm afraid of nothing. Uh, yeah, well, okay, that, that didn't work out. Did you feel that fear or that maybe it's a sense of failure or potential failure all your career? No, it's, um, it's a sign of victory. Because, and that helped drive you always, through I, all of those matches, all those absolutely. wins you had? I always, I always believe the adversity, I always believe the adversity or nervousness, it like pretty much catapulted me into success. If right. I didn't have these so, feelings, I wouldn't, ha I wouldn't go into this fight. I have to have these feelings to fight. Without them, I would never go in the ring. Yeah, I, I, I hope you don't have those feelings of fear about me one day, because I don't really feel like getting in the ring with you. Uh, one, one of those Mike, Mike Tyson left hooks is going to, you know, put, knock me right back I don't want right to fight you either, to... Sean. I don't want to fight you <laughs> Thank either. Thank you. I'm... Well, you know, Jim Gray, our mutual friend, uh, actually started our friendship, and, and what a great guy he is. And this is what he says about you. He says, you are the, the nicest ever. guy on earth, nicest guy, one of the nicest people he ever met. And I read something. I, I know I'll talk a little bit about your business. You've gotten into the, the weed edible business, and you actually have... You know, yes. <laughs> you call it Mike's Bites. It's shaped like an ear, obviously referring to Evander Holyfield and the yes. fight you had back then. Yes. Then this is what you said that really interested me. You said that it makes you a different person and you want to offer this medicinal help to others looking for emotional and physical relief 
This is medicinal for you, correct? Absolutely, and not only myself, for many, many millions and millions and hundreds of million people on the planet. Yeah, you actually said if, if I don't use it for a week or three days, you're a totally different person. And this is what you said about yourself. You're not a likable person. What, what happens if, if you don't have the medication? I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with my tripolar um, <laughs> tendencies or something. But I don't think I'll be smoking for this fight. And I think I'm going to be really, really irritable and nasty. Uh, I don't know if irritable and nasty might actually help you in the ring. Um, you know, maybe a pissed off mic. Let, let me ask you this. So you, you're launching this new line. Is this something you would even, would you take this before the fight, for example? Normally I do. But at this particular fight, I think I'm going to go pretty raw and, you know, naked. Yeah. With, with, with the, without all of it. Um, all right, so the fight's coming up. You're training. Um, do you have any yeah. dislike for, for Jake Paul? Like, you, you want to teach him a lesson. I will do just that, but dislike him? No, I don't. I do not have no grudges against him. He's beautiful. And no, it's not from that perspective. This is from my, my, my point of view of g grabbing glory. You know, never for money, only glory. I would never risk my health for money. Yeah, and, and you obviously feel like you're in the best shape. Uh, I know I speak for a lot of people. They want to see really, Mike Tyson. I'll be in they better They want to see Mike July Tyson 20. win this fight. And, and my, my, my guess is you're gonna, you're gonna, this is going to be a great night. That's for sure. Definitely one for the ages. I believe you as well. Mike, I'm looking so forward to it. I'm looking so forward to it. I respect anybody that gets in the ring of the octagon. Great respect. He wants to fight Mike, I think. Why? I don't give a fuck if he's 55. Yeah. That's still Mike My, Tyson. Mike's in good shape, too. Oh, my God. Mike trains every day. He trains with Rafael Cordero, who's a legend in MMA. Rafael is a fucking world-renowned trainer. When you see him holding the mitts for Tyson, and Tyson's smashing the mitts, yeah. like, Jesus. Yeah. That guy can still yeah. fuck you up. Yeah. Like, I don't give a fuck if you think he's 55 years old. That guy will hurt yeah. you. Yeah. Jay Paul's on the other side of the ring, and he sees Mike Tyson just fucking bobbing and weaving. He's going to have a, a recognition. He's going to look over and go, oh, my God, that's really Mike Tyson.